Now, Buze, thank you so much for joining us. We saw that the bourse was down last week, mainly because of all the happenings on the banking sector. Give us an update on what's happening on the bourse today. Thank you, Fanny, for having me. Um, on the exchange today, we saw the index moving up um, a little over 2%, closing at 22,460 points. Um, we saw a total of 52 gainers and 23 losers, while the remaining stocks remain flat on the floor today. Um, interesting to note also is that um, 11 of the 52 gainers are actually the banking stocks. So we're seeing um, a trend from the, the bearish trend that dominated the market for the most of last week, coming onto a positive note this week, and we're seeing the market moving up by about a little over 2%. Well, ratings agency Standard & Poor's has dropped the country's um, rating, saying that uh, the banking sector is looking rather risky. How exactly has this affected the Naira? Uh, the Standard & Poor's rating really hasn't had much effect on the, Ni uh, on the Naira. We actually saw an interbank trade today, the Naira gaining some few covers during the course of the trade. Um, well, not really. Um, unexpected if you see such a drop in rating following what would have happened and, and the perception that would have come out of uh, the uh, recent turn in events but nevertheless we expect that this would actually sign this kind of reform happening currently would be a sign of good um, prospect for investors we expect that um, I mean from what we've seen on the trades today banking stocks actually among the gainers we expect the trend would continue and at the end of it all it would be good um, good opportunities for investors to actually come into the market well part of the reasons that the s p dropped uh, nigeria's rating was saying that it's risky enough for uh, foreigners to do business in nigeria so how exactly is investor sentiments faring in nigeria sorry Fanny, you have to give me the question again I well, S&P says that it's riskier to do business for foreigners in Nigeria. So how exactly is investor sentiments faring in Nigeria at the moment? Well, um, if I look at um, S&P report, generally it's been in the news. You've had um, a couple of um, foreign media actually say that it's always risky to do business in Nigeria. But we won't um, ignore the fact of the kind of market that Nigeria is and the kind of economy that it is and um, the prospect that it holds for investors that come into the country and the kind of returns that they expect to get. Um, not um, disputing the fact that certain issues might be on ground, but these are issues that are currently being tackled by the current administrators and we expect uh, it will be a, a much better forum, a much better um, place for people to actually come in rather than go away from. Well, there are also talks that the CBN could possibly intervene if the Naira came under speculative attack. Take us through to what extent will this scenario play out? Sorry, Fendi, I still didn't get that question. Well, there are talks CBN that the CBN could possibly intervene uh, for the Naira if there are more speculative talks. Take us through, if that does happen, how the scenario would play out. Well, if the CBN come into the Naira market, um, I assume we talk about the dollar Naira to see the strength of the Naira, um, would be more likely to see a uh, more stronger appreciation of the Naira in the interbank market. Currently, there's a wide division between where the Naira trades amongst bank and where the CBN was, a, was a largely the main supplier of the Forex market um, currently gives their auction rate. Or um, any CBN intervention would most likely be tended towards giving the, so much liquidity into the foreign market, foreign exchange market, and as such, you see the Naira actually pulling up some strength. 